hot on the heels of their iOS ports of desktop freebies, Magic Switch and Magic Dice. Baby Audio have just released Crystalline, a next-gen algorithmic reverb effect onto the iOS App Store. There is no shortage of reverb apps around at the moment. So what does Crystalline do to set itself apart? And is it worth your time? Hey, it's Patrick and this is Crystalline. Available on iPad and iPhone, this is the first of Baby Audio's catalogue of desktop plugins to be ported across to iOS. This isn't a stripped down or limited version of Crystalline either. This is a full on one to one port with all features 100% intact. In the interests of transparency, I was not provided a code for this app from the developer. I paid for Crystalline entirely out of my own pocket. I'll touch on the wee bit of controversy surrounding the pricing of this app later on in the video, so stick around for that. Baby Audio's approach to UI design has always been really interesting to me. Apart from just looking really cool, it makes their plugins really approachable and dead easy to use. As you can imagine, that pseudo skeuomorphic UI design translates perfectly onto iOS. Left to right along the top of the crystalline interface, you'll find a button to change the appearance of the UI the Baby Audio logo, which will bypass the app when tapped. There's the preset manager right in the middle. Another bypass control. There's an info button. An eco mode toggle, which locks the app into lower resolution and deactivates the shimmer effect, but also drastically lowers CPU usage. And you can tap the small round arrow icon to reset the app to its initial settings. In the middle of the app is a nice looking yet vague visual display of what the effect is doing to your audio. You can adjust the pre-delay and decay of the reverb with the start and end sliders, you can also sync these to your project or just play it by ear if you want. There is a dry wet slider which allows you to control the intensity of the effect. You can toggle the wet lock on to preserve the dry wet balance when cycling through presets, which is ridiculously helpful. There's a ducker slider here, which is fantastic if you find that your tracks are being drowned out by the amount of reverb you've added. The gentle toggle underneath gives the ducker a more natural feel. You also have a reverse toggle, which unsurprisingly reverses the reverb tail. and freeze will hold the reverb at the exact point you hit the button. It'll stay frozen until you hit the button again. The four sections on either side of Crystalline's interface allow you to shape and mould the sound of your reverb. The reflection section contains size, sparkle and width controls. The depth section has resolution, modulation and shimmer controls.
In the cleanup section, you can fiddle with damping, sides, and gate controls. And the shape section has tone, smoothing and transient controls. I really like the way that you interact with these controls, with each control square only requiring you to tap, hold and slide up and down to affect them. Before we carry on, if you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, I would really appreciate if you took a second and gave that like button a wee tickle. Cheers. So how does Crystalline sound then? As ever, the best way to get a feel of how an app like this sounds is by diving into the presets menu. Crystalline comes with well over 100 presets to get you started, and working your way through these, it becomes apparent just how versatile Crystalline is. Want a unique vocal preset? Crystalline can do that. Want a straight up drum room type of effect? Crystalline can do that too. Want something completely left field to complement your latest drone core magnum opus? Crystalline can do that as well. In fact, it's actually really, really good at that kind of thing. As I mentioned at the top of this video, there was a wee bit of a hoo-ha when Crystalline released over its price. Crystalline is currently available for £25.99 or $29.99 from the App Store. To put that into perspective, FabFilter Pro R costs $39.99 and Eventide Black Hole is $19.99. So Baby Audio have priced Crystalline right in the middle of the two. And I think in terms of how it sounds and what you're able to do with it, that's the perfect price point for it really. Let's not forget that the identical desktop version of this reverb costs $100. It's not a bad deal really. Mm -hmm. 
Let's not beat around the bush here. This is one of the best reverb apps available for iOS. Crystalline has all of the functionality of its desktop counterpart, and it's all wrapped up in an interface that if you didn't know any better, you'd swear was created specifically for a touch interface. It's banging. I really hope that the reception to this app is good enough to encourage Baby Audio to port more of their plugins over to iOS. Fingers crossed for Super VHS. Speaking of super cool apps, I put this playlist together just for you that contains some of my favourite iOS music making apps.